Hi everyone. Hi mom. Uh, I thought I'd introduce myself. My name's Cheryl. And for anybody who's just new to my channel, um, you know, I do make a lot of journals. I have an online store. I design a lot of my own papers. Um, but this one I really wanted to share with you because it's special. The, the kit was made by a really good friend of mine, Vintage Moss. And I'll link her in the description box below. She has a few books that she's done uh, on a YouTube channel. But she's hoping to open up her own Shopify store online very soon. And this is just a taste of the kinds of things that she does. She's very talented. She's a graphic artist. So, um, yeah, look for her. Make sure you subscribe so that you get the notices when she um, puts up a book or a new kit or whatever. Um... So this book is, you know, typical for me, the same size approximately, which is five and three quarters by eight and a half. So it is done with a gutted book. I just get them at the dollar store. Dollar Tree carries, I think they're like a, in Canada, I think they're dollar twenty-five just for the book. And then I just gut them and use the covers. I've done the hitch post, which is also typical for me, as well as the cross stitch binding, typical for me. Um, but what I've done a little bit differently, I absolutely love her images, I'm telling you. This was um, something she had printed out on cardstock when she was visiting. She just left it behind. She didn't need it. Her book was so full, she couldn't get anything else in it. So she she knew I was going to be making one. She left me a bunch of stuff. Anyway, it's out of cardstock, but what I did a little bit different was I did paint, and that is the Viva, Viva Gold paint. Uh, I believe it's called bronze. And then, uh, because I wanted shine, but I wanted a contrast, so I used a, a Krylon spray matte um, sealer. Uh, it does smell a little bit still, but that will eventually fade. I did paint the base of the book black. And then I just did, you know, some smearing. But you see, I wanted the shimmer to really pop off the page. So I wanted the background kind of dull. And I know it's not going to show, but I'll try. Now, there's glossy accents on her face, on her eyes. And then I've done glossy accents all on the music notes. So they're all raised, you know, texturally. You can feel that. Uh, then, of course, the texture paste, which I did a bunch of paints and stuff mixed up. Didn't like the end result of the color, so I put some more gold over it. And I I put it on with the stencil, the Tim Holtz stencil. And then what I did was I took my finger while it was still on there, and I just kind of did this and lifted it up so it's really textured. And then there's the gold uh, mica chips there, which is a... Um, texture, no, what is it called? A gel medium uh, with the mica chips in it. And I, th I think that's all I did to that one. Yeah. <laughs> I laugh as I say that, but <laughs> anyway, uh, another hairband. Now I'm doing the hairbands with the holes wider apart. I find that it doesn't put as much stress on the book somehow. Uh, I don't know. There's probably a mathematical thing going on with that, but Anyway, I used the eyelets, and then I didn't have to tie it uh, more than that. So you're not having a bunch of things sticking out. Now, I like the, the hair bands that have the metal piece that puts them together, and then you can cut them with your jewelry snips, or I use the Tim Holtz scissors because they cut through metal. Anyway, here's the inside of the book. Uh, this is just, I don't know, paper from... I, honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> I have scads of it. It is a cardstock, and it does have some sort of a clear embossing on it. <clears throat> and then again, I've done my, you know, I join the covers, because once you gut it, then that really thins out your spine. So this is the craft text, and this time I sprayed it with just a mix of uh, sprays that I have. I wanted it darker. So... I think on pretty much all of the images, I don't think I covered any of them. I might have put something on one page, but they're absolutely stunning, so I didn't want to put anything on the images. And it's it's definitely Regency era, but it's like a masquerade ball, but it, it's also, you know, well, you'll see. 
You'll see. Okay, so it is most definitely a journal. There's not a lot of ephemera in this book. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, flip outs that I've done to give you extra journaling space. Um, mostly it's just tea dyed paper. Now this uh, was an idea from Janice's mom. And uh, she just folds it up like a letter, but she used her seal on it. So this actually has my initial on it. And um, then these will be in my store. Uh, and again, my link to my store will be in the description box below. So you can just click on it and take you right to my store. The die cut is from Diane. And I sprayed the heck out of that one because it was white. And then the cameos, uh, they'll be, hmm, I think there's, here, they're right here. Okay, so this will be what the sheet looks like, but there'll be three different sizes that you can download. And so, like, this is from the Mozart movie, right? And she's done it in, like, a watercolor. So awesome. And then she's got the, or oh, sorry, me, uh, me, not her. <laughs> I put some glassine bags that I got from Denise Sayas and her Etsy store is called A Tattered Dreams. And I put on, decoupaged a napkin and then I did some texture paste as well, added some trim. And then this is tissue paper that I tore up. Now, the cool thing about that I didn't watch the video, but I heard somebody talk about, I think it's Sagita. So if you take a napkin and you have the image that you like, instead of like kind of trying to tear, take a little, I, this is what I did anyways. I'm not sure if what she did, but she used water is what I heard. So I took a little paintbrush with the tiniest little bit of water and you have to go quite a ways away from your image because especially on a napkin, it wicks up really fast and you might end up destroying some of the image that you intended on using. So go away from the image and then it just pulls apart. So you get that neat tattered edge, let it dry, and then I just ink the edges. Now this is tissue, so I used a little bit more water because it's thicker, but did the same deal. Now it's a nice big pocket, and in that pocket, I'm gonna put this. I didn't finish it. <laughs> this was one that um, Janice made. But I added some trim to it, and I was intending on making like a mini journal out of it. But I ran out of tea stain paper, so, and it's honestly, you guys, it's so hot here. Um, yeah, we've got all kinds of forest fires going on and stuff, so I'm not putting my oven on. But I will include it in the book, and that way, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. Um, so it'll go in the little pocket here. It's perfect. I did a bit of stamping. That's it. Um, so this is one of my favorite pages. I absolutely love this page. I love the pearls in it. and oh, It's just, it's beautiful. So you can see, oh, in the back page here, this is one of my journal pages. It just went really nice. And you can find that in my store as well. Now this is inspired by... Janice, um, who's Vintage Moss, she does a lot of this kind of thing. I painted some curtaining with just acrylic paint. I did front and back because it was white. And then I went over spots with a texture paste that has the shimmer in it. And it's absolutely gorgeous. But it stiffens the lace up so you get a really lovely pocket and it makes it easier to glue onto your page. And I added some black trim up here as well. And then I had overprinted, I did extras. So I used some of it to just make a little envelope and then another cameo on there. And then inside, this is more extras that I had. So I just glued that with a glue stick onto an index card that I cut down to fit into the envelope. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the way that mask looks. Boy, I know the light's not fantastic, you know, but isn't that beautiful? The colors are oh, just stunning. I'm going to try and swing my lamp over a little bit more. Maybe I'll get a little bit more light for you.
And I believe this is um, Mozart's wife. Lots of journaling in the kit itself. She's still working on the kit. I keep telling her to don't add any more, just alter a couple things. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is just some leftover cardstock I found in my drawer and tea stains some trim. I used my marker, a black felt, and colored the centers. And then over top of that, I just added some stickles. So it's shimmery. And then this is one of the tags. Added a flip and then there's a couple more tags now um, this is the, the size that they print out I made a couple smaller isn't that pretty those hydrangeas like the colors are just amazing sorry I'm losing you here hang on I'm gonna move you <laughs> sorry about that guys Okay. I love this page too. And now this is one of the tags that she left for me. It's really heavy. It's nice and thick. So, fits in here, which I've done. I wanted to show you how I did that. So I did a smaller version so that I could show you. Just cut a strip of cardstock and glue it to the back of your doily. And then the edges of the doily, I got some texture paste that I'd mixed up with some paint. So I just rubbed it on there and that kind of makes them a little bit more stable. And then I cut a separate doily, layered that on. And then I used one of the Cameos, which is covered in, sorry, glossy accents. Let's see if that, there you go. So she's all raised and, anyway, that's how I did that, glued that on. so became a belly band. This doily here I did paint and these also were from Diane. Uh, another belly band that I used some of her leftover paper and on the edge of this one I just took my little pen which uh, if you don't have one, uh, Versamark puts out this tip Versamark um, One's like a paintbrush and one is like a tip. They run out fast, I find, but all I do is take my pad of Versamark and I dip it in into here and then I use this part and I just went along the edge of the uh, scallop and then put my embossing powder on that and then you get a really pretty little gold effect there. And it became a belly band for more of the writing paper. So I think this is the only page I actually covered. It, it's a journal page, but I didn't lose any journaling because I added the paper there. Another flip on that side. Isn't that, oh, I love these pages. The colors, oh man, I wish you could see the colors better than what my camera is going to show. They're so rich and vibrant and she's got a thing about harpsichords so and then I sent her this image and it's, it's beautiful I love how she altered that there's another bag there's nothing in that one but I made them so you can flip up and you can still write underneath them another tag and again die cuts from Diane and this one I painted and added a little bit of sparkle. I don't know if that shows. Eh, a little bit. And then this is done, this one here, with uh, the chunky embossing enamel on that. And there's three different sizes of those die cuts. Isn't this gorgeous? I love this page. And another little flip on this side. And then another one of the writing papers. And look how bright that is. There's another one of belly bands. And there's a tag that I printed out. And I 
used a glue stick, I believe, on this one. And this is just a manila folder that I had cut out in that shape already. I love this one. The colors in this mask are gorgeous. So rich. And you can't help touching it. <laughs> this one's cool. I love this one. This whole face. So beautiful. And how she did that. It's like a tattoo on her face. I love it. And there's another big flip on that one. This one's called The Proposal. And look at the red, how she did that. The music notes. Okay, so this was something I did different. You know, she left me this envelope. I love the envelope, but it was already glued together. And I wanted to use it to cover my stitching. So all I did was cut a strip of this paper and sewed that in. Once that was sewn in, then I put a strip of tape on the bottom of the envelope, taped it to the inside, and then glued the rest, closed it up, and now you've got a flap. So you can do that with any envelope that you have. And then in here is my information, and then there's a couple more tags. Now we're doing the back pages of these. Lots of writing. And another flip. And this one actually accordions out. Oh, look at the jewels in this one. Not beautiful. And this big violin here. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's been kind of bad with all the smoke in the air. Okay, this page, um, I wanted something different. I have these playing cards that, you know, sometimes you're just like, what am I going to do with them? Uh, these are the Tim Holtz, and I rubbed over the archival ink, uh, potting soil I think I used, and then I cut a strip of leftover paper from the inside cover and cut out the uh, lettering to spell Mozart, went over the lettering with embossing powder, so I'm not sure if that's going to show as shimmer. Yeah, I guess it does. But it's textured as well. And then I added one of my pages I had left over, so I turned it into a writing page as well. I like how that turned out. Okay, so that's page two that I covered over. But I didn't really. <laughs> oh. I just love her stuff. This is a flip, but also the doily flips up, so you can write on that side too. And then another tag. This one is not a tuck on this side, it's just a flip, so you get extra writing space on that page. There's the back of that one. I love the jewels down the side here. And that's it. I love it. This is going to be super hard to part with, this one, I have to tell you. But it will be listed in my store. I've had a number of people ask about that, you know, like, <laughs> why don't I have journals in the store? Well, yeah, I can't keep up. Uh, I mean, in between, you know, being a, a wife, a stay-at-home wife who keeps up with the house, hopefully, and all the other things you do, all the things, my hobbies and projects, as well as my designing, uh, I can't, I can't do more than one a week. Well, they generally sell in a day. So even though there's a title for journals, <laughs> there probably won't be any in there. Uh, but I'm doing my best to, uh, you know, at least keep up with one a week. Uh, that's all I've got today for you. Uh, I hope you you know, check out Janice's channel. Uh, you won't be disappointed, trust me. And uh, she'll have more to come. I think actually she's going to be posting uh, 
a steampunk journal pretty soon and she used my kit to make that so you can see her take on it and it's beautiful I've seen it in person so I love the way she did hers but anyways thanks for watching you guys and have an awesome day bye